What's up everyone, it's Caddy with Money Vest. So today is the last day of 2023. Hope you all have a fantastic end to this year, to this phenomenal record year. And over the next couple videos, I want to only talk about the psychology of investing money in markets, basically focus on what's over here. We're not going to touch on any 2024 predictions. We're not going to kind of recap 2023, but simply talk about some very timeless investing lessons that you can take to, to next year. And of course, for many, many years to come when it comes to investing money, markets and finance. So hope you all enjoy this video. This is all coming straight from my readings on personal finance and investing books over the years and uh, wanted to share some very, very key lessons. Of course, we've covered this in a lot more detail in our psychology of investing and money in markets course. So if you want to take advantage of that, Link's going to be down below. The coupon code is 2024 and the entire bundle is going to be 70% off if you want to, of course, enroll and take advantage of that sale. And that does expire in a couple of days. And also do check out our Patreon link down below. There's a 16% annual discount that's available until tonight. So until midnight tonight, 16% annual discount available. You get access to all the private members only videos, access to all the spreadsheets, including my Discord channels and buy and sell alerts, options alerts, everything is going to be included as well. So in today's video, the single most important element of long-term investing success, that's what we are talking about in this video that I want you all to always remember because that's really what this is all about. This channel, our MoneyVest channel, is all about having a realistic slash conservative approach to investing. Now, of course, oftentimes there's going to be instances where we do miss out on certain moves. We do miss out on potential gains. But I was talking about this with one of our other members who was kind of in this headspace where they were being really hard on themselves that they've missed out on a couple gains and couple opportunities and trades. And I mentioned this to him very, very simply that this is something we all need to accept in the market. We're not going to essentially perfectly, precisely time every trade. We're not going to catch every trade or every opportunity. There's going to be instances where we miss out on the opportunity to make potential gains and of course, that's something we have to accept. So the single most important element of long-term investing success is longevity and investing defensively. Every successful investor you know of, Howard Marks, Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Peter Lynch, they all employed this simple strategy of investing in a very defensive manner. Because investing, of course, as any other sports game is a part of both offense and defense. If you're only playing offense, you're going to get scored on every single time there is an attack on you, right? So if you don't have great defense, you're going to lose the game regardless of how many goals you score, how many runs you make. If you don't have good defense, you are going to not win the game long term. If you have a very solid defense, right, then yes, you are protected. But at the same time, if you don't score any goals or score any runs, you're not going to win any games, but at least that's going to keep you in the game long enough until the odds are in your favor to take advantage of when you want to attack, when you be on, want to be a little bit on the offense. So in my opinion, when it comes to investing long term, it's much better to have a very strong defense than there is to have a strong offense. Of course, it's a combination of both that really sets you apart in this game and of course allows you to compound your returns and generate a much higher rate of return than the entire market. But the bottom line is, every single successful investor you know has been around for decades, has been around for years and years and years because they've had defensive strategies. They've mastered the whole idea of longevity, being in the game long enough until the odds finally fall in your favor to take advantage of those opportunities. I'll give you a very simple example, right? 2022, markets had a very brutal year. It was a bear market. If you go back to 2022, if you go back to our live streams, if you go back to our comments, if you go back to all the videos that I posted during then, and of course, Instagram and everywhere, like in social space, in just the media space, if you go back in 2022, which was a bear market, a lot of people threw in the towel and they quit because either they gave up on investing, they thought that investing was not for them, or they blew up their account because they were taking on too much margin, they were leveraging too much, and they were betting 
you know, on the upside, which obviously never happened and the markets ended up selling off. So one of those two things happened. Either, they were either forced to quit or they simply quit because they thought investing was not for them. So those people who threw in the towel, guess what happened in 2023? Markets absolutely ripped, right? We saw a significant rally. We saw that recovery take place. Many stocks, including big tech and Magnificent 7, was up, you know, hundreds of percents. And as a result, people who stayed in the game long enough, they didn't quit or they weren't forced to quit, benefited from the entire rally in 2023. And that's the entire idea of staying in the game. That is time in the market is very, very important. Okay. And longevity only comes with this mindset of survival. Okay. In the markets, in the world of finance, when we are constantly dealing with risk, our job is to survive because it is very easy to get tempted with the returns of other people. It is very easy to be distracted and start chasing returns of a stock or an ETF or whatever it is that's trending in the moment. It's very easy to forego your strategy and kind of fall in the trap of chasing something that's not meant for you. So all those things can lead to blowing up your account and that can cause you to get out of the game or be forced out of the game and not take advantage of when the markets do recover and do really well. So always remember that having a survival mindset in the world of finance and investing and being financially bulletproof so that you are always in the game, you are staying in the market to take advantage of those opportunities is incredibly important to long-term investing success. Because as we know that if you are invested for the long-term 10 to 15 years plus, the probability of losing money is near zero. It is almost near zero that you'll lose money if you're invested in the market long enough. So longevity and having a survival mindset is perhaps the most important things that I want you guys to take into 2024. Regardless of what type of predictions people are making, just make sure that you're not overexposing yourself, you're not over leveraging yourself, you're not taking on too much risk, which may not be worth it at the end of the day. Having a conservative approach, having a defensive investing strategy, in my opinion, is going to be far better than taking on too much risk just to make a little bit more. So hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Just wanted to do a little bit of a psychological video and I'm going to be doing a couple more uh, to close out the year. So we're not going to be focusing too much on markets and valuations and technicals and predictions, but simply to kind of get you in the right mindset for next year, for the upcoming year as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful if you did. Make sure that you drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I will be doing a couple more videos just like these and definitely do join our Discord and our Patreon. There is a 16% annual discount that's available until the end of this month. And again, you get access to all the buy and sell alerts, options alerts, trade ideas. Everything's going to be included with the link down below. And uh, as always, happy investing. And I will see you all in the next video and hopefully in 2020, definitely in 2024. So I'll see you all next year. Take care.